What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a Rayquaza team for ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Rayquaza, this Pokemon actually pairs up with Shen Pao and is a Dragonite on steroids. Let me explain a little bit. So obviously, Dragonite pairs up with Shen Pao really well and uses E-Speed to do some big time damage. But when it comes to Rayquaza, you can actually use that same exact combo, go normal Terra with E-Speed and do even more damage than Dragonite does. So Shen Pao Rayquaza combo, going to be pretty strong in Regulation G. We're trying it out on the rank ladder, hopefully grabbing you guys some wins. But Rayquaza over here, rocking out with Airlock as its ability with Clear Amulet as its item. It also has Dragon Descent, Protect, Sword Stance, and like we already mentioned, Extreme Speed. We can set up a Sword Stance, go plus two on attack, and then just E-Speed and Dragon Descent away, pretty much just KO in any Pokemon we would like. Like I already mentioned, we have Shen Pao on today's team. Shen Pao pairs up with all the physical attackers, such as Rayquaza, Incineroar, and Rillaboom, and it's rocking the Focus Sash as item. It's got Sucker Punch for first turn priority, Throat Chop, Ice Spinner, and Protect. Our final four Pokemon on today's team, we already mentioned Rillaboom and Incineroar, don't really want to talk about them too much, considering they're pretty much on any Regulation G team. But we got Fluttermane and Golden Go. Golden Go's awesome because of its choice specs, doing massive amounts of damage, and Fluttermane, obviously a top tier Pokemon with speed control with Icy Wind, and big time special attacking damage with Moonblast and Shadow Ball. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Rayquaza in ranked. Moving on to our first match for today's video, we'd love to grab ourselves some win here with Rayquaza, but we're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team. Furthermore, they got Galarian Articuno, really dope Pokemon, love his design. They also have Incineroar, Shen Pao just like us, Tornadus, and Thunderous. Thunderous in its Therian form? I believe that's its Therian form, right? Yeah, okay. So, who do I think they're going to lead here? They got Calyrex. Calyrex could definitely potentially just be an easy lead for them, but I could also lead like Shen Pao. And Ray I could go Shen Pao Rayquaza here. That wouldn't be bad. I got clear amulet. Um, fake out's looking a little scary onto Incineroar. Um, I could maybe just go Golden Go and Fluttermane, which wouldn't be bad, especially because I got booster energy into speed, correct? Yeah, booster energy into speed, and then I could just start icy winding. That's not a bad call. That is not a bad call, but if they go Tornadus alongside with Calyrex, then we have a little bit of a problem. So maybe I just go Fluttermane here, along with like Incineroar, and maybe try to get off some parting shots. That's not bad, because I always like fake out turn one. Yeah, I'm going to go Incineroar, and then I'm going to bring Rayquaza and Shen Pao in the back end. I kind of wanted to lead Golden Go and Fluttermane, but if they go Calyrex and Tornadus, they could just Tailwind and just start ripping into me with Astro Barrage, which would just be a, too big of a problem for me to actually handle. So, rather just play it safe. Go into my boy Incineroar, I can parting shot. I can fake out turn one if I want to. Most likely, I think I'm going to parting shot over fake out. Because I do believe they're going to lead Calyrex and Tornadus. Or Tornadus and something else. So, instead of faking out and maybe hoping that this thing doesn't have Cover Cloak. Yeah, there's Tornadus. That we can just uh, parting shot. And actually, he's going to end up leading Shen Pao. And show me you're not clear amulet. If that's the case, we can offer a nice Intimidate here. No clear amulet? Let's go. That's big time. That's big time. So, from here, um, I'm going to boost our energy up here. I am, again, I'm scared of the Shen Pao. Do I go for an Icy Wind, though? Do I just slow him down just a tad bit? Might be in my best interest. Might be in my best interest. But what I want to do is just swap here, pretty much. I kind of just want to swap. I mean, Shen Pao could potentially just protect here. So, actually, I'm just going to Parting Shot into the Tornado slot. I'm just going to go for a Sucker Punch. Okay. Wow, that's some damage. That Sucker Punch did some damage. It is Life Orb, too. He's minus one. Sucker Punch is ripping like that. So Icy Wind chunking up a little bit. Not bad. Tornadus looks like it's going for Bleak Wind Storm. So to be honest, Fluttermane's dead, isn't it? Yeah, Fluttermane's dead. No Fluttermane survives. We love it. We love it. Big time Fluttermane survival there. We love a good old Fluttermane survival. So now from here, what is my play? What is my play? Because I get the hard swap. And I could bring out Rayquaza. I could bring out Rayquaza and I could swap. I could swap Shen Pao for. Or I could, yeah, I could put in Shen Pao for Fluttermane and then E Speed Normal Terror to get rid of the, the Shen Pao. That seems like my best interest, right? 
That seems like my best interest. Save Flutter main for the back. It could definitely come in clutch considering how fast it is. And then we can normal Terra here and just try to get rid of this Shen Pao. I'm with it. I like this turn. I like this turn a lot. I do like this turn a lot. So I'm going to swap to Flutter main. Definitely on 6 HP. Flutter main's a type of Pokemon that can get off one turn. That could be really clutch. And I'm going to throw out Shen Pao. The chance are you're going for Sucker Punch, right? So if I could just E-Speed KO, it'd be perfect. And both these guys are minus one. Ten pals minus one on physical attack. Ronatus minus one on special and physical attack. So we love that. And then I have Incineroar in the back end, which is great. More Intimidates, more Fake Outs. Great Pokemon to have in the back end. So out comes my Terra. We're going to E-Speed here. Look at the KO. This should KO, correct? Ouch, that hurts. That hurts. You go for Tailwind. So Tailwind flies through. You're not going for... Actually, you could be going for Sucker Punch, right? You're going for Ice Sucker Crash in this slot, which I'm going to soak. Does some damage, but I soak. And you died a Life Orb, which is good. So Life Orb, going to make you faint. Um, Tornadus did set up a Tailwind, which is kind of scary. I can still just E-Speed and just start getting after it that way. And we'll see who he throws out here. Maybe Torrent or Thunderous. So Thunderous comes out here. I would love to just go for an Ice Spinner. And I think I'd rather KO you, right? So I'm going to do that, and honestly, I might just protect you. Or I can just E-Speed this slot down. Honestly, I think maybe Protect might be our call. Actually, let's see speed. Let's do some damage here. I kind of want to waste out some Tailwind turns. You are Sash, but I think they're going to double down into this slot. I really do. I think we honestly just... I think we honestly just double down into you. E-Speed Sucker Punch. I like this play. I like this play all day. E-Speed Sucker Punch into this slot. Big... Oh, we KO you. We one-shot you. Get on out of here. We one-shot you, which is gorgeous. And then Sucker Punch actually might finish you off. Sucker Punch. Oh, my lord. I love this combo. Shen Pao Rayquaza is the real deal. It's the real deal. We love it. We love it. We love it. Now it's pretty much a 4. It's a 4v1, right? With Shadow Rider Calyx. That's a scary Pokemon. That's a real scary Pokemon. And honestly, it's great that we're normal, Terra. You cannot hit me with Astro Barrage, which is awesome. And they just turn off their console. Love it. I love it. So Rayquaza, Shen Pao, making our first opponent turn off their console. We're 1-0. I love it. I love it, ladies and gentlemen. We are going up against a Rayquaza off meta team. Love it. So double Rayquaza flying out here. I think with this matchup right here, I could just lead Rayquaza, Shen Pao, and try to get off of Swords Dance. Actually, I could lead it with Fake Out user. That might be a little bit better for us because we could just fake out and kind of get after it that way. We kind of intimidate and then sword stance and go from there. So I love it. So Incineroar, Rayquaza are going to be our lead. Shen Pao in the back end. And then last but not least, Fluttermane? Or Robin, Fluttermane. You got to go Fluttermane. We're on the rank ladder today. We're on the rank ladder today. So we want to use our best Pokemon. Look to grab ourselves a win here. But guys, I have to admit it. Your boy is a little hungover. I'm not going to lie. I was out in the city last night. Went to Philly with my boys. Had a good time. Had a good time. Didn't get home till real late, but I, I knew I had to wake up to record for you guys. So I'm here today, trying to stay hydrated, trying to get after it. But had a good time last night. Definitely did have a good time last night. But it's definitely not hindering my Pokemon ability, my play. It's not. It's not hindering my play. I'm still killing it for you guys. So thank you guys so much for popping out here, and enjoying the content. But we're gonna intimidate, which is great on Rayquaza, and Sword Dance is just gonna be our best friend. And is Skull villain? Is Skull Villain physical attacking? I don't think it is, but I'm still going to go for a Sword Dance here, and I'm just going to fake out the Rayquaza. A little bit of fake out on Rayquaza here. I'm probably going to swap into Shen Pao next turn and just normal Terra, and probably just kill everything with E-Speed. That looks in her best interest. But yeah, I was out. I was out a little, little too late. A little too late. Came home and just rubbed down. I was so hungry. I was out for a couple hours, and it was just a good time. It was just a good time. A lot, lot of drinks going. A lot of drinks flowing. But Miyazaki is going to come out here. We're just going to fake it out. It's not going to really do anything. And Skull Villain, what are you going for? You're going for Spicy Extract here. You're just going to boost that thing's attack. I don't really mind that. I really don't mind that because I could just E-Speed and KO you whenever I want. I could, ju I could just KO you. This thing's moody. It's going to boost his defense, but it's going to drop his attack. Like, okay. I don't really mind you, Skull Villain. I don't mind you. I think I just normal Terra E speed you down and I just parting shot into the Skull Villain slot. 
Yeah, because East East Speed's gonna KO me Escarada even without Shen Pao. So I'd rather just party shot instead of hard swapping. Makes a bit more sense. Makes a bit more sense in my opinion. So normal terror, we're gonna look to just dump on me Escarada. I do like this combo kind of. I think it's a cool little combo, but it's honestly not that strong. The spicy extract, boosting your attack, drop your defense. I feel like it honestly would work if I didn't have Rayquaza. Right, because Rayquaza is just going to outspeed with extreme speed and just take this thing out. So, see you later, Miascarada. Bye-bye. Get it on out my face. We don't need it here. See you later. See you later. Get it going. So, Miascarada, dead. He's going to go for a spicy extract here, and he is going to boost my attack. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, I think that was going... Oh, you, oh, you can't drop my defense. You just boosted my attack. This is over. This game is... Wrap it up. You just boosted my attack for free. And I had clear amulet, so my defense didn't drop. So I think they were looking to drop my defense, but instead, Rayquaza said, nah, you're just going to boost my attack. <laughs> That's actually awesome. I love the clear amulet. It's such a good item. I think it's like the perfect item that they added into this game. I'm a big fan of it. But Skull Villain's going to go moody here. His defense is going to drop. His special attack is going to go up. And he's just all over the place right now. He's just all over the place. They're going to throw out Rayquaza of their own. I really don't mind this because I do outspeed. And to be honest, I'm just going to e-speed the... Uh... I could actually just take you out. Are you plus four? That's my question. You are plus four. Yeah, you know what? I'm, my Rayquaza is just going just gonna to kill your Rayquaza. We're just going to make it simple here. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to go into an Ice Spinner into Skull Villain. It ends up withdrawing Skull Villain. So Skull Villain with the withdrawal. Who's taking this Ice Spinner? Moltres. Okay, so it's going to be neutral into that. Not bad. Oh, Shiny Fire Chicken. Oh, that looks sick. That looks sick. And they're terrestrializing. It. So they are terrestrializing their Rayquaza into what typing? Because E-Speed's flying. No ghosts. Normal as well. Okay, so double normal. You might be going for E-Speed's, but you're not plus four like my, like my Rayquaza is. And honestly, my Rayquaza might be faster, so we might just KO you. Nope, your Rayquaza is faster. So E-Speed's going to fly here. We should soak this no problem. We do. E-Speed's going to fly. We can wait bye-bye to this Rayquaza. Plus four next to Shen Pao. Get it on out, my face. See you later. And, dude, this combo is just ridiculous. The first two matches with this thing have just been absurd. We're just dumping on Pokemon left and right. So Ice Spinner flying yet again. We love it. Bop. Big time damage. Half damage. We love a good half damage. But he is going to end up burying up. That's fine. That is fine. I'm kind of hoping my Rayquaza can just outspeed. I would love to just go for a Dragon Ascent. And actually, there's no point in going for Dragon Ascent. E-Speed KOs anybody we want. So I'm just going to go ahead KO you. And I'm just going to go for a Ice Spinner into this slot. Cool. Are you just going to cancel battle? Then you go for Rage Powder. Okay, that's actually a pretty smart call. Keep your Moltres alive a little bit. You might be able to KO my Rayquaza. I hope not. Because we swept in match number one. I would love to just sweep in match number two. The Skull Villain, gone. Get it out of here. Ice Spinner's not going to KO due to that berry. And is that berry going to be enough for them to not get swept? Let's see. Oh, you live on one. You live on one. How dare you? You live on one. You live on one. Heat Wave flying here. Who's dodged it? Rayquaza dodged it. Shen Pao? Yeah, you're dead. The burn, the flame body. You live it on one. Gets rid of my sweep. We hate this game. We hate this game. But still, Rayquaza absolutely lightening up. Absolutely lightening up. No problem. No problem for Rayquaza. I'll just bring out Fluttermane here, and they're just going to cancel battle. We were just going to cancel battle. And honestly, I like to end this battle with a Dragon Ascent, just because Dragon Ascent looks so cool. But now nah, we're just going to eat speed. It's just so simple. Eat speed, Moonblast. Just cancel the battle. They don't need cancel battle. Get on out of here. 2 0. Oh. We are just dominating right now on the rank ladder. Time for our final match, and we're going up against a Groudon team. And I actually like going up against Weather with Rayquaza. Just because it's got airlock, it eliminates all weather effects. So, could be pretty good for us. Could definitely be pretty good for us. But, they got a pretty strong team. They got Groudon. They're pairing it up with other Sun Pokemon, such as Protosynthesis Raging Bolt and Protosynthesis Fluttermane. So, that works out well. Also, Entei's going to get a nice big-time damage boost. But a Pokemon that I think we should lead is honestly just Rayquaza. I think is going to be great here. We could try to set up a Swords Dance if we want to. And honestly, we could go into maybe like Incineroar turns one. Because Intimidate's going to be nice. 
furthermore fake out we love it so i'm gonna go into both of them i'm gonna bring shen pao obviously in the back end and then last but not least golden go no not golden go too much fire too much firepower flutter me it's gotta be flutter me because we really don't want to be bringing in the grass type pokemon or the steel type pokemon it's just it's just going to be an issue because if Groudon's on the field, it's most likely Rock and Heat Crash. You got Secret Fire on Entei in the sun. It's no bueno. It's just not good. <laughs> it's just not good. So we're bringing off Fluttermane and Incineroar. So this is the same team that we brought in the last match. And honestly, I think it's the same team we brought in all the matches. Who cares? It's all about Rayquaza. As long as I showcase Rayquaza, we're having a good time in today's video. So we'll see what they want to do here. We'll see. We're kind of hoping Groudon is not clear ammo, but most likely... It's clear ammo. It's just the best item for Groudon. And honestly, a lot of the restricted Pokemon thrive with it. Any physical attacking restricted Pokemon, the clear ammo is probably its best item. Coridon, Ice Rider Kalak, Groudon, Rayquaza. It's just insanely strong with how like relevant Intimidate is right now. But they're going to end up going into Fluttermate and Tornadus, which isn't bad. I mean, I get to fake out Tornadus. Um, hmm. What's our play here, though? My play here, honestly, is probably just to protect you and parting shot flutter me. I like this. I do like this because if they want to go into like a dazzling gleam, I really don't want Rayquaza taking that damage. And plus, I want to see if they're going to maybe like Terrasilize here, which they're not. I was going to say, if they Terrasilize into Fairy, we can then E speed the next turn. So I just protect the Rayquaza. They're going to set up the Tailwind, probably going for dazzling gleam. And yeah, there's the Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam flying out here. And then I can just Parting Shot into it. Okay. So instant we're going to take a little bit of damage. Nothing too crazy. Parting Shot flying. Going to drop this thing special attack. Alright. Cool. So I can go into Fluttermane of my own if I would like to. But I don't know if I like that though. I'm thinking of just going Shen Pao. I honestly think going Shen Pao is our play. And then protect Shen Pao. To Rastalize Rayquaza. So it doesn't take big time damage from Dazzle Gleam. And then just drag an Ascent and try to kill the Flutter Mane. I think that's in our best interest. I really do. So that's going to be my play. That is going to be the Jeans play. Hopefully this works out fine. I don't think they're going to protect Flutter Mane. They might swap it. That's an option. Or they might just leave it on the field. Like staring down Shen Pao and Rayquaza. I feel like you want to keep the uh, Flutter Mane on the field, right? Like Dazzle Gleam still doing a nice chunk of damage even if you're minus one. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping it just stays on the field. Because if I get rid of Fluttermane, I like this turn. And yeah, they're going to keep it on the field. So now comes a big time Terra from us. Normal Terra. We love it. Most likely a Bleak Wind Storm probably flying from. Hornatus. I just hope my Rayquaza can survive these shots. Need him surviving here. So we protect the Shen Pao. We do get that damage boost because defense is dropped from its ability. And out comes the Dazzle Gleam. So minus one Dazzle Gleam. No crits, hopefully. And we can just, you know, take out this Flutter main. And yeah, it only did a little bit of damage. Bleak Wind Storm's gonna fly. Can you dodge it, Rayquaza? And be a big time dodge? No, you don't dodge it, but you still should soak. Yeah, so they did about half damage to my Rayquaza. Not bad. Dragon Ascent now can fly. And this KO? It does. Let's go. Let's go. I love Dragon Ascent. It is drops her defense, though. It does drop her defense. It's pretty much the flying move close combat, right? It's close combat, but a flying move. It's the same base power, I'm pretty sure. It has the same effects and everything, just a different typing. So we get rid of Flutterman, which is pretty solid for us. Entei is now going to fly out here. Um, speed's just a problem for us. Speed is just a problem for us. Um, I could double down, maybe go East speed Sucker Punch into Entei. And I actually kind of like that, but I don't know if it's going to KO. I'm definitely going to try. I'm definitely going to try that. So we'll see a Terra pop out here. Entei's gonna get the Terra. What Terra type are you cooking? Fire? What you got here? You're going normal. Are you e-speeding me? Are you e-speeding me? You definitely are e-speeding me. How dare you? You're e-speeding my Rayquaza. Yo, don't KO my Rayquaza with my own move! And now I can't sucker punch, man. That's tough. That's tough. But we are kind of wasting out these Tailwind turns. But I kind of wish I would have went for an Ice Spinner into Tornadus at this point. Because now Sucker Punch gets blocked. Oh, man. Hurts the soul. And Bleak Wind Storm, do we dodge it? Yes! That's massive. That's massive. You're inner focus, so honestly, this isn't really going to do too much. I'm just going to go into Fluttermane here. I am just going to go into Fluttermane. 
Do I go into Fluttermane? Um, I want to go for Ice Spinner. I probably should have went into a Fake Out user, to be honest. But I want to get rid of Tornadus. I have Focus Ash, which is awesome. I have Focus Ash, which is great. And I'm just going to look to just protect and go for an Ice Spinner here. That's the play. That's the play, because I really don't want him setting up another Tailwind. But you E-Speed at my E-Speed Pokemon. How dare you? E-Speed's flying all day today, guys. All day today. So we'll see what Entei wants to do here. And she's going to Witch on. That's actually great for us. That's perfect for us. And you're going to go into Groudon. So he finally sets the Sun. I don't have my Airlock Pokemon anymore. But he finally sets the Sun. And Shiny Groudon is insanely cool. I feel like they killed all the Shinies. Like, in, uh, or I should say, all the Box Art Legendaries for Gen 3. Their Shinies are all insanely cool. They really are. You got Groudon. Look at that. It's like gold, yellow. Kyogre's purple. Rayquaza's black and red. They just look insane. But they end up going for Bleak Wind Storm. We pop a nice lovely Ice Spinner. Do we KO? We KO. So Tailwind, gone. Tailwind, gone. That's perfect. That's perfect because Tailwind's ending. You can't set it up again. I got some speed cooking. You're now forced to go back into Entei. But I had to guess you're probably clear ammo, right? You are most likely clear ammo. And I might kind of check here. Actually, I don't know. Let me slow him down. Hmm. E-Speed's looking scary. Actually, I'm just going to go Moonblast here and just protect you. E-Speed's looking a bit scary into my Shen Pao slot. E-Speed's looking scary. So I'm going to protect Shen Pao. We're going to read E-Speed flying into this slot. And we're just going to look to rip a Moonblast here. Not going to lie, Groudon, you're scaring me. I kind of want to get off an Icy Wind, too. Icy Wind might be clutch for us. Considering Incineroar in the back end is kind of slow. Icy Wind could be big time for us. So I end up just protecting the Shen Pao. Protect comes out from Groudon. Oh, this is a good turn for us. If this is E-Speed, this is a great turn for us. It's not E-Speed. You're Sacred Firing somebody. We get a crit, too. Oh, I love crits. And Sacred Fire is going to fly into the Shen Pao slot. Actually, into the Flutter main slot. And RNG is just helping us out so much. RNG is loving us right now. So I'm going to go for an Icy Wind. I am going to end up going for a... Uh, an Ice Spinner, trying to KO Entei. And we're going to slow down everybody. Actually, you might be clear Amulet. You are clear Amulet. That kind of sucks. Let's look and go for another uh, Sacred Fire. That's fine. We get rid of you. Clear Amulet on the Groudon's a little tough. And Precipice Blade's going to come out here. Most likely KO. So unless RNG's just still failing our opponent. Let's see. No, they, they, they earned this one. They earned this Blades. But Fluttermain... Oh, no. Fluttermain dies. And we're going to lose. Oh, man. We just lost. I was hoping Fluttermane could survive. I was hoping we could survive. Now, now it's just game. Now it's just game. We don't have terror, do we? We use it, right? Yeah, we use it on you, but... Yeah, we use it. We definitely use it on Rayquaza. We definitely use it on Rayquaza. But yeah, because I normal terror to... To what's it called? To get rid of the Fluttermane. Yeah, that's game. Unless you miss a Blades. Unless you miss a Blades. He protects. Okay, that's fine. Are you wasting out sun? I don't understand to protect. I think he just wants to see what we're doing here. Or maybe just protecting, like, fake out. <laughs> that might have been the play. Which is kind of smart. We probably should have went for fake out to try to chip up some damage. But I'm just going for Flare Blitz here. Can we dodge a Blades or is Groudon beating us in this final match? We dodge the Blades. Hold up. Hold up. We might have to dodge another Blades. I don't think Flare Blitz is KOing. Yeah, we need to dodge another Blades. Can we dodge another Blades? Nah, Sunlight's gone. We lost. We lost! <laughs> I don't think Flare Blitz can KO, though. But can we dodge another Blades? Nah, no shot. We're dodging two Blades. GG's to our opponent. What is that animation? We're just, like, looking at the ground on his back. That's hilarious. But, hey, 2-1 for today's video. Love this team so much. It is confirmed, ladies and gentlemen. Rayquaza, way better than Dragonite, and is insane on the rank ladder. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. We showcased this Pokemon really, really well. Dropping Swords Dance. Normal Terra's East Speeds next to Shen Pao. It was just game set match after that. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.